What do you know about food allergens? In 2004, Congress passed the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act, also known as FALCPA, which identified eight major food allergens, milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soybean, which account for 90% of food allergy in the United States. In 2021, Congress passed the Food Allergy Safety, Treatment, Education, and Research Act, declaring sesame as the ninth major food allergen. Food and Drug Administration, also known as FDA, is responsible for protecting the public health by assuring the safety, efficacy, and security of human and veterinary drugs, biological products, medical devices, and our nation's food supply, cosmetics, and products that emit radiation under the umbrella of seven regulatory centers, in which the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition regulates our U.S. food safety. Food allergies occur when the body's immune system reacts to certain proteins in food. Food allergic reactions vary in severity from mild symptoms involving hives and lip swelling to severe life-threatening symptoms, often called anaphylaxis. That may involve fatal respiratory problems and shock. To protect those with food allergies and other food hypersensitivities, the Food and Drug Administration enforces regulations requiring companies to list ingredients on packaged foods and beverages. For certain foods or substances that cause allergies or other hypersensitivity reactions, there are more specific labeling requirements. When consumed, allergenic food proteins, unlike non-allergenic food proteins, are not broken down into smaller units during digestion within the gastrointestinal tract lined with numerous immunological cells. Allergenic containing foods are consumed with the complex of protein structures intact and are mixed with saliva containing carbohydrate digestive enzymes in the mouth and are swallowed. In the stomach, the food is mixed with gastric juices containing protein digestive enzymes within an acid denaturing condition. The digestion now transits along the gastrointestinal tract and empties into the small intestine in which the final stages of digestion occur. Pancreatic secretions containing protein, carbohydrate, and lipid digestive enzymes are released into the lumen of the upper section of the small intestine also known as the jejunum, to complete digestion. A hallmark feature of most allergenic food proteins is stability to digestive proteases and acid denaturation, and therefore most often reach the site of nutrient absorption within the small intestine intact. Partially digested allergenic food proteins are absorbed by the nutrient transporters in the small intestine and pass through the portal blood supply and liver to the systemic circulation and for the potential to elicit an adverse immunological response within the body, such as food allergy, and susceptible populations of consumers dependent upon age and health status, causing oral intolerance to food proteins. However, the majority of American consumers have developed oral tolerance to these digestive stable food proteins in that an immunological response is not elicited in the, this group of individuals upon consumption of identified allergenic food proteins. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned more about food allergy. In my podcast, I talk about the assessment of food allergens and also about how our regulatory agents protect you, the consumer, from food allergens.